When Rio de Janeiro bid to host the 2016 Summer Olympics, authorities pledged that an extensive cleanup of the city's polluted waterways, including treating 80% of the city's sewage, would be one of the game's enduring legacies. But the president of Sadai, Rio's state-owned water utility, charged with meeting the Olympic bid goals, says he isn't sure how the 80% figure was decided upon. I don't know where these 80% came from. Surely it wasn't from Sadai. No one here spoke of 80%. Just across Guanabara Bay, the city of Niteroi is showing that a real cleanup is possible. Nearly all of the city's half million residents are now connected to the sewer grid. By comparison, Rio treats only about half its sewage. I think the city has missed the opportunity or the metropolitan area of Rio, the 12 cities there around Guanabara Bay, and the state level has missed the opportunity to, to, to solve a problem that's been, uh, that would be a great achievement for the city. An ongoing study commissioned by the Associated Press has shown that rowers, sailors and marathon swimmers competing in Guanabara Bay and other Olympic venues will be exposed to waters so filthy they're roughly equivalent to raw sewage. Officials in Niteroi say using private companies subject to accountability, which Rio doesn't do, has been key in getting the city close to treating 100% of its sewage. Niteroi's efforts to stop their sewage flowing into the bay and onto the beaches are largely in vain because the volume of sewage from Rio ends up on their side of the bay. It's been getting cleaner, but it's definitely not as clean as we would like. It's still a little bit dirty and still has room to improve. It doesn't look like it'll get better anytime soon. Rio says the cleanup will now not happen until the year 2035. Luke Sheridan, The Associated Press.